this is where I found that Roman hoard of silver coins six years ago. And it was six years ago to this week when the finds the liaison officers from the British Museum came out and myself and about 10 invited friends plus all the flows between us dug two trenches they dug one myself and a few friends dug another one one meter square and we got the two foot six deep we found another i think it was 44 silver roman coins so i think maybe i'm going to turn my gear on i'm going to be using the dais x35 call today the 11 inch high frequency coil but i'm going to start with just the ordinary preset program dais fast That's turned on. I'm going to put the speaker on the remote so if I get any signals I can let you listen to them. Um, I'm going to be on 17 kilohertz discrimination. I'm just going to knock that down to 4. Sensitivity is on 95. I think I'll just, there's a bit of trash on here, I think I'll just take that down to 90 and I might even take it down a bit less. Iron volume is three. So I think we'll work at that for the moment. Let's get swinging. signal that I'm looking for on here. My very first ever hammered coin also came from the middle of the scattered hoard. So to think that those hoard coins were nearly 2,000 years old. And right on top of them was a hammer James I stroke James VI penny. which was deposited there about 1,400 years later. This is an 81. Not terribly impressed with it, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to have a dig at that. I'm going to start with a small hole, the size of the blade, which is only six inches. Oh, look how dry that is under there. It's not usually like that here. A little bit more muck out. Uh, I think I can it with my spade. And I thought I was onto a winner there, but I was wrong. It's a really thick piece of lead. You can see it was probably a pipe shape before, in which in which means it's a rather large diameter because it's quite thick walls. But it's heavy and probably half a kilo, so it's about 55, 60 pence there my cancer research. Well that one took a little bit of getting out and in the end it was a little piece of lead but again it was eight to nine inches deep but that's quite impressive considering that the soil is so dry which usually reduces the depth that you can find things. 
So, you never know. What we've got to do now is reassemble this hole, which looks a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Now I have said it's very unlikely we're going to find any more silver Romans here, but if I don't turn the camera on, it may happen. Where's it gone? Oh, it def definitely doesn't sound right now. Definitely. Look, tiny piece of lead or tin, tin. <sighs> Yet more farmer trash. Right in front of the coil. Oh, this is hard again. numbers are really high, like iron. Right. <sighs> Landowner is coming to get his lambs in. Foil. Oh well. If I keep filming them, I might get lucky. Wow, it's warm. 17 degrees, not much wind, which makes it feel really warm. There's still another 100 acres on here. And yet I keep focusing on this spot. I have done all the others, all the other fields, but not as intensively as this one. Now if you do get onto a horde site, you really need to have the volume up high and listen for even the minutest of squeaks or bad signals, no matter what the signal. But just analyse it carefully. Before you reject it. Well, look at this, and I didn't, oh, I didn't turn the camera on. Look, it was a little bit iffy at first, but it was showing the right numbers. Oh, that's that's going to clean up very nicely. There's a lot of green on it which goes to prove that it has been into a, a contact with other silver coins in the ground for a prolonged period. That's why silver goes green, sometimes bluey green patches. That I can see immediately is a female empress 
and it looks very much like Julia Domna, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> After all this time of coming back, and it's in cracking condition because some of them are really in bad condition. But that will clean up nicely. In fact, what I'll do with this, um, it's not a rare coin by any means. So I'm going to stick this in my tumbler when I get home. So we can do a before and after to see what that looks like. But I'm fairly sure that's a Julia Domna. The hair is what gives it away. Isn't that a cracker? Really, really pleased with this. And it's raised my hopes again. There could be more here. In fact, I'm going to concentrate on just this area for the next, well, the rest of this visit. So, better fill the hole in. Really happy with that. If, like me, you're interested in being able to identify the Roman coins you dig up, then you can see my own designed wall charts. Just go to the video description for the link. My first proper dig since the lockdown and it happens to be the first silver Roman coin this year so I'm going to go home now and tumble it and I'm also going to make more members only videos to show my gratitude towards those who are loyal to my channel and I'm going to show the results of tumbling that Roman silver on a members only video so if you'd like to become a members only you can see the link in the video description and if I don't see you beforehand do keep safe <laughs>